Hey guys, welcome to the vlog, what is it, number 7 now, um, as you can see I just got out of the shower, woke up, it is 6.15am on a Wednesday, I have class today, school today, and as you can tell it's just one of those days where I already know I'm going to be tired, um, one of those things when I, you know those days where you, or one of those nights where you just lay in bed and you try to sleep, but nothing kind of one of those nights, literally up to like 3 a.m. Um, usually I listen to a podcast until I fall asleep. Yesterday, I finished a podcast. I kind of just laid there trying to go to sleep, uh, but I couldn't because my sleep schedule was pretty messed up. Anyhow, I got to get ready. I got to get ready to go to school. And as you can tell, I'm really, really tired, so I'm going to need my coffee today. <sighs> so, back in the vending machine again before I leave. Getting my coffee. And, oops, I just dropped the money I need to get my drink. Awesome. Hey guys, so, I'm mm, decently awake now. Uh, it's about maybe 6, near 6.30, 6.40-ish in the morning. I'm on the, uh, pretty much close to school. Uh, anyways, what I want to talk about, <laughs> that's how I saw a green light there. Um, what I wanted to talk about was uh, the iWatch, and this is interesting. I, I saw a lot of feedback from, oh, I saw a lot of videos, and I've been following the topic. Um, and I saw a video yesterday by David DeFranco on the topic, and he had some mixed opinions on it. And, I mean, a lot of people have different opinions on it, and I guess I want to touch on it a little bit. Um, the iWatch obviously being the rumored, and I want to say rumored because nothing is confirmed, Apple uh, Watch, essentially. and. Uh, it is the watch that, an e-watch I want to say, because it's not exactly a, what you would call, you know, original watch, or like, you know, a, a casual watch. Uh, now the casual watch market in terms of jewelry, that, that's always a market that will be popular, I think, you know, that's, that's not a dying uh, brand or, or market, because a lot of people think like, you know, the watch is a dying market or anything. Maybe, yeah, casual watches. Uh, everyday watches, but I think um, definitely the luxury brand market is, is still always going to be there, and it's, it's still a market that people invest in because that's that's considered jewelry in a sense. You know, Rolexes, that's the type of uh, you know I own uh, Rolex, Movado. Those those are the type of brands that people will always keep on buying just because again those are luxury items, much like how people buy Louis Vuitton bags or Mercedes or BMW, you know that sort of brand. Um, but maybe, yeah, the everyday, like, wristwatch, like, you know, I guess in the kids, it's with the, the fashion, more like stuff like G-Shocks and stuff like that. Maybe, that you know, I'm, I'm not sure how the margins on that are doing. Uh, and the e-watches are kind of a brand of their own. They, they've always been around, essentially. Uh, the Pebble, for example, was one that was a, a big uh, one recently. That one looked kind of cool. And my idea of the iWatch isn't essentially just, you know, something that's just going to tell you the time, but essentially something that is gonna also just, whoops, big stop here, something that's not only gonna tell you the time, but something that's also gonna be as an assistant to your iPhone, I mean, it's it's something that will, you use, yeah, that maybe it's tell your time, but you use also briefly to check, you know, I'm wearing a watch right now, this is the Movado I was talking about, you use something to tell your, you know, your text messages or your your, you know, your email, just notifications maybe that you got, not exactly, you know, reading your email and your watch, but a brief notification about something, you know, it's always nice, like, maybe when you're, you're in class or certain situations where you don't have to reach for your phone in your pocket, and that's what technology, technology has to do, make things easier for us, um, by solving simple problems in simple ways, I, I personally think, um, yeah, you can call it laziness and stuff like that, you know, you don't have to pull our phone, but again, that's what technology is, it's convenient, it's the ability not to, have to do something when, you know, this technology is implemented. Um, you know, it, it's still a far, you know, concept. It's not even positive that it's going to come to release. You know, Apple is so secretive with their technology and their products. Um, but it's definitely looks something to look forward to. I'd like to hear what you guys think about the iWatch. Is it a project that you would potentially buy? Is it something that sounds interesting? What's your concept of the iWatch? To me, it's personally an assistant to the iPhone, and it's, it's definitely, I think, going to be, if it comes to release, uh, something with Siri packed in. Anyways, guys, i got to head, or i got to drive up to school here, so I'm going to stop the camera.
the school parking lot looks like in the morning. Ugh, so tired, so early. This is where you guys usually sit. <laughs> like, I don't know if you guys realize it, but this is, you guys are literally on the dash. Or not the dash, but inside the dash, I guess. Alright, anyways, with that, guys, I gotta head to school. And the day begins. Hey, you guys. So, kind of a jump of pace. I've been out of school. Drove home here. Just drove home. Ah, got food, some snacks. Pretty dark in here. Hey. This is my dog. <laughs> Anyways, uh, like I said, I just got home. Easy day of school. Um, got some food for me. Usually I buy, like, if I don't eat a big lunch during school, then I'll just buy food after school. But to be honest, I bought a whole bunch of snacks. I've been craving, of all things, cookies today. So I went out and I bought double stuffed Oreos. Uh, I didn't know if I had milk or not. I'm hoping I have milk. Let's see. I do Japanese milk, though, but not that different. Not really. I don't know. Tastes, it's all not tastes the same to me. All right, I usually drink, what is that, homogenized milk? Anyways, I'm home. Uh, I gotta edit yesterday's vlog. Yesterday's vlog? Yeah, yesterday's vlog. Uh, so you guys will get that on time. Anyways, yeah, jump a pace. Sorry for kind of jumping around. Obviously, there's not much to film at school. It's exciting, anyway. My favorite bag of chips. This is, uh, I'm with my dog. Anyways, pick these up too. The Oreos, I just got done eating a good stack of them. You know, it's weird as I usually eat hot Cheetos with a good cup of coffee, which is really weird. I guess I kind of like the spiciness. Of like, I'm not spicy, you know, obviously they're a little bit spicy for some people. Uh, I'll mix with coffee. Um, it's usually how I drink, which is really weird to some people, obviously, because, you know, it's not a cold drink, but one of my favorite bag of chips. Anyways, kicking back. I just got home because I don't want to jump right into work. I do have a couple of videos I have to do. Today's podcast, Back to Work, I talked about this before, but definitely this podcast specifically on 5 to 5 by 5 <laughs> And today's episode is called Pull Out Your Dingus. Really good show if you listen to it and you'll get all the terms and stuff like that. Anyways, really great show on productivity. I've talked about this before. Do check it out on the 5 by 5 network. And I'm really liking this new wallpaper that Kuba put out there. So it's a pretty cool one in the background. Anyways, uh, with that, I'm going to keep back for a while and uh, we'll see how the vlog carries along. Okay, so it's about 7 at night now. I just I totally passed out after I was listening to the podcast. I passed out. And, and usually when I come home, I try to take an hour or two nap. But I hate it when I oversleep, which is what I did. I have some app reviews rendering here. You can see this is a typical setup of what it looks like. My main iMac here has ScreenFlow where I edit and you know shoot the actual reviews. Well, for example, like I'm taking a look at this app right now. And um, from the developer, I usually get the page here and I read the description. I like to use the apps, you know, obviously when I review anything, I don't like to kind of just shoot right forth. Uh, I kind of, you know, give time, I use the app and stuff like that. And for example, this is like an interactive children's book here. So, you know, I guess some advertising to this developer. Anyways, um, you know, just the typical setup. Again, notes on the right and then I uh, record and edit everything on the main screen here. Hey guys, so it's 1 a.m. here. Uh, I'm pretty tired. Uh, I know the vlog's been jumping around. I've been busy. One, I think I talked about earlier, I, I passed out completely <laughs> after I got home. Um, but uh, I did some work, and then I actually got that TV over there. I don't know, you can't really see it's dark. Well, only I'm, I'm, I'm actually the only thing lighting up the room right now. Um, I talked to a buyer today, I'm going to meet him tomorrow, so i got to wake up during one, like around lunchtime tomorrow drive over there to meet him up and sell the TV. So, yeah, that'll be interesting. I mean, you know, nice. I'll probably, I'm actually looking to go to the store after that, maybe picking up a new mouse because my gaming mouse is uh, giving up the wireless, the Logitech mouse I use for gaming. I was like, uh, I think the receiver's acting up. I don't know if it's the receiver and laser, but sometimes it gets all jumpy around the screen. Anyhow, right now I'm watching the Project Glass video by Google. If you haven't seen this, I'm going to leave a description link in the description of this. Really cool stuff. They are actually accepting applications. You can apply via Twitter and social networks to apply to be an early Glass member. And this is one of those other great technologies like I was talking about. You know, it's, it's that kind of that future technology. While it may not be the in thing now, there's going to be a lot of privacy issues and a lot of crazy stuff with this when it comes out. Uh, it definitely is a cool technology, much like that I talked about the iWatch today. Um, definitely check out this video, guys. Anyhow, again, thanks to all you viewers, thanks to all you guys who really do regular comments, thanks for all of you who are watching these vlogs. Hope you enjoyed them, I know they're not always exciting, but hey, you know, <laughs> it's just, it's, uh, I get, you know, it's a look at my day-to-day -day life and some of the stuff that's going on. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all in the next vlog.